top five fertility foods, facts that are backed by science. Hi friends, I'm Dr. Natalie Crawford. I'm a board certified OBGYN and REI, so I'm a fertility doctor. And every single day I talk to people who are trying to get pregnant and they have so many questions about what they should be doing or what they should not be doing. And this channel exists so that you can learn more about your health, hormones, your body, and your fertility. Today I'm gonna to talk about foods that you can eat, which is something I get asked all the time. And I think this is because we're always looking for whatever it is that we can do to try to help our bodies get pregnant faster. And some of this information is not gonna be a huge surprise, but I always say what's good for your health is good for your fertility. But there are some specific nutrients and vitamins that are exceptionally good for you if you are trying to get pregnant and that have research behind them showing that they can help you get pregnant faster when you're eating more foods that are in line with an anti-inflammatory lifestyle that are high in vitamins. So we're going to go over some of these today. Before we do, please consider subscribing to the channel to help support and share our message and ask your questions below so that we can make sure to cover information that you have in the future. Also wanted to announce that I have a cycle tracking guide. It is all about understanding your cycle, tracking your cycle and syncing your cycle with your life. This is a freebie. All you have to do is sign up for the newsletter. So if you go to nataliecrawfordmd.com slash newsletter, you'll learn more information and you will automatically get the cycle tracking guide. So consider signing up if you are trying to get pregnant or just want to learn more about your body. And I also want to announce that my book, The Fertility Formula, goes on pre-sale extremely soon. The book is facts whether you're wanting to get pregnant in the future, trying right now, having infertility, but really if you just want to take charge of your own life because a lot of the book is going into detail over what we are covering today, talking about lifestyle and fertility. So without further ado, let's go over the top five fertility foods that are backed by science and how they can support your reproductive health and your egg quality. Number one, I'm going to be those leafy greens. So leafy greens are things like spinach, kale, arugula, Swiss chard, and leafy greens are one of the best things that you can eat. They are packed with folate, which is an essential B vitamin, which is important for cell division, especially important for growth and development when it comes to both ovulation, but implantation and also fetal development. We know that folate is essential to prevent neural tube defects or disorders in the nervous system, the brain or the spinal cord that form. So folate helps support ovulation, egg development, and that fetal development. And it's also rich in antioxidants, which can help fight off any of that oxidative stress, which the world around us really is quite inflammatory. So my tip is to try to get at least one serving of a leafy green every day. And if you don't love leafy greens, think about ways to get it a little easier. One of my tips is to put it in a smoothie. A smoothie is a great refreshing way, especially if you have a crazy day like I do, put those leafy greens inside, there you go. You can also saute it and put it in eggs if that's something that you like, or add it to a sandwich or have a salad. But think about at least one serving a day. And we know if we wanna think about literature, that the Nurses Health Study showed us that higher intake of folate from foods was improved to higher fertility rates and lower risk of not ovulating. Food number two is going to be avocados. So avocados are rich in some of the healthy fats. These are those monosaturated fats. They also have a lot of nutrition and a lot of vitamins, including they have fiber, folate, magnesium, and vitamin E. Fiber is something that's so important. Those leafy greens have it also, but fiber is only found in fruits and vegetables. Fiber is going to improve the integrity of your gut, meaning you're going to have less leaky gut. One thing we don't really think about is that the cells that line our gut are responsible for keeping the bad things out and letting the good things in. When it's constantly challenged with inflammation, you develop something called a leaky gut or the real medical word is increased intestinal permeability. And this is where more of the bad stuff can get into your bloodstream and wreck even further havoc. Well, the only way to really improve this or the best way is to increase those fruits and vegetables in your diet because of the fiber content. So fiber is going to help feed the gut microbiome, going to help heal from a leaky gut, going to also decrease the risk of insulin resistant which has a huge impact on infertility, both in cases where you might have PCOS or when you don't. So avocados, they kind of have everything. So you've got those healthy fats. Remember that fat and cholesterol is the backbone for all hormones. It's not protein. Hormones actually come from cholesterol. So avocados have those healthy fats. You've got fiber. And then again, you have folate. And then you also have magnesium and vitamin E. 
Magnesium and vitamin E can both be really important in the luteal phase and for supporting that implantation process. So healthy fats are the building blocks of hormones, like we said. So think about an easy way to add avocado to your day, whether it's to that same smoothie, topped on a salad, add it on avocado toast, or one of my favorites is literally scoop it out, put sea salt on it, and just eat it as it is. There was a study done looking at diets that are higher in monounsaturated fats and lower in trans fats, and that showed improved IVF outcomes and lower rates of ovulation disorders. So again, go to town on the avocados. Number three is going to be eggs. So eggs are going to be really rich in choline and choline is something we haven't talked about, but it's essential for fetal brain development. And it has been shown to help with implantation rates. So you've got choline. You also have some healthy fats. Again, what is the backbone for hormones? Cholesterol. And eggs are also a great source of vitamin D. And we know that vitamin D deficiency is prevalent and associated with infertility. So eggs can be helpful for your own egg health, but also for that early fetal development. The yolk is where most of the nutrients are. So what we don't want you to do is just eat the egg white. We are less concerned with your total cholesterol load when you're trying to get pregnant specifically because we want to have enough cholesterol for those hormone backbones. So skip the egg white only trend if you are trying to get pregnant. Number four and one of my favorites are going to be your berries. So we'll have a whole category go into this superfood. This is going to be those blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, and berries are extremely high in antioxidants. Antioxidants help protect your eggs from what we call reactive oxygen species or free radicals. This is known as oxidative damage from inflammation and in the world around us. We know that we have more oxidative damage with the more inflammation we see and with the older that we get. So berries are one of those low sugar, high fiber, high antioxidants foods that is perfect for helping you get pregnant. So in addition to helping with overall hormone state because of the antioxidants, you're also going to see that due to the fiber, they're also going to be good for managing and decreasing the risk of insulin resistance. Please do not fall for the fruits are sugars, therefore they are bad for us. That is not true. The sugar that is in fruit is a different type of sugar than artificial added sugars, which are bad for you. But fruits have the extra blend of having those vitamins like the antioxidants and having the fiber in them, which we've already talked about is so good. So we do know that antioxidant rich diets are associated with improved fertility in both men and women. So berries should be your favorite snack. And then number five are going to be Nuts in general, we'll give walnuts like the top top mention, but also important almonds, Brazil nuts, and you can have seeds fall into here as well. But almonds themselves are going to be rich in those omega-3 fatty acids, vitamin E, and selenium. All of these are really important in your egg quality, your hormone regulation, and in implantation. A study showed that a diet that had high in nuts and healthy fats was linked to improved fertility and IVF success, and a small handful is plenty. So you don't need to go overboard when it comes to nuts. They can be a great topper, whether that's on top of a salad, oatmeal, a small snack just in your hand, or putting them on top of yogurt. One of my favorite things to do is actually just have berries and nuts together as a snack. I'll even put them in a little Tupperware. You'll find blueberries and walnuts as one of my favorite little snacks on the go. Easy to eat, bite-sized hand, and extremely filling and nutritious for you. So what you eat doesn't have to be complicated. These are all whole foods, high in nutritional value that are going to help you get pregnant. The things you eat, what you put in and on your body, they do matter. So please don't be naive and think that the foods around you don't impact your success. They can both harm or they can help you. So let's leverage your diet to be something that can help you the most. So these five fertility friendly foods are simple, easy, and something that you could enter into your diet every single day. So this is a great place to start if you're looking to be pregnant or just support your hormonal health a little bit better. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out the free guide at nataliecrawfordmd.com slash newsletter to learn more. You're going to be hearing more about my new book, The Fertility Formula, so stay tuned. And also, you can always get more information on Instagram at Natalie Crawford MD or the As a Woman podcast, which is right here on YouTube now. Please ask questions, comments, and tell us what episodes or topics you'd like us to cover soon. Thank you, friends.